Like you only go to worlds where you have to have me from head to toe. Time to leave for both sides. Right. Oh, there we go. There. Oh, uh, Avatar tonight. Right. tonight. Yes. Uh, we will unveil this woman this evening. She will go. Yes. Can you open the door? We will see the freedom of the Middle Eastern woman tonight. The door. We're not here. Uh, it's all oh, one of those progressive parties where you kind of go for. I'm free. Large number of submissions that we got. 
Uh, well, probably a number of people have seen this one before. We have uh, four that we're going to show tonight. Uh, we go here. Uh, all these avatars were done by Stasha McGee over at uh, High Live, and I'm pretty impressed with her artwork here. Uh, all these, by the way, all these have been done very low quality. Excellent use of, of just the, just what. It's getting angry. It's getting angry. It's getting angry. It's getting angry. It's It's all, it's all, it's both, oh, the water and the oh, 
fire! <laughs> By the sacred waters and the holy torch. Uh, so happy! <laughs> you are so <laughs> happy! Yeah, you are so <laughs> It's a blue M&M! Implant! <laughs> I have one, but they're in my breast. Oh, no. Wait. One more time. Wait. <laughs> That's under... Oh, yeah. 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 And then you got lava. You know, eat your heart out. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we need more beautiful women around David Traub. <laughs> and then it says, "What has this guy got that no one else has got?" Yeah, I want to know. What is this secret? What's your That's some more. That's some more. Is it? That sure beats Camera Zai, pizza pie, a heavy side, that's some more. was built on the idea that when you can start to connect the minds, connect the neurons and the synapses between individuals, that you start to get a collective wisdom. Some of us remember it as the beehive principle or swarm theory, but it's really more than that because what we're talking about is the ability to start to look at a metaphor that leverages not individual empowerment, but leverages the socializing experience of minds being able to join together in ways that are very hard for us to predict. Because on web earth, I've attempted to articulate one particular dimension of that vision. You creating the human presence in cyberspace articulate another. And perhaps we soon converge. The success Excuse me, wait 
and there seemed to be something Excuse me, I'd like two days. Oh my god, he's dead! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why, what's the matter? <laughs> my Because Eric has the election. This is um, this is um, an interesting kind of piece. We're talking about a new kind of uh, digital soup uh, simulation organism here. <laughs> it's not actually new. I posted something about this on the web last year. Yeah. Yeah. So so what? But we're we're, we're moving more towards realizing it now with living worlds. Okay now. Real, uh, realizing the ability to create. Are you, are you recording this? I'm now? recording it now. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so could you describe for our audience the basic concept here? The basic concept. Yeah. The basic concept is in living worlds you have a pilot and you have a bunch of drones, right? And these drones are running um, some part of the simulation on them, right? Um, the part of the concept is to run the brain or non-deterministic stuff in the pilot and to run an engine or deterministic stuff in the drones. But suppose each of the drones has a separate little piece of the computation that the um, pilot needs to do. Say the pilot wants to do a little learning for his neural network. The pilot then sends off little bits of computation to each of his drones. Now what this means is the more people that are browsing a particular pilot, the more machines are running uh, copies of his learning code. He's learning faster, he gains some sort of selective advantage. Uh, well, can an avatar be a pilot? I mean uh, sure, sure. Well, all this runs on top of avatar worlds, right? Essentially, it's the whole principle, like in Oz, of any vermal world can be a multi-user world, and any multi-user world can have artificial life forms that live in it. And that are combined with um, artificial life forms that have live human-mediated behavior right. as and well. Right. If you look at this thing, if you walk into a vermal world and you look at this thing, it will run a little bit of its brain on your machine and it will probably not take too many cycles to notice. But what will happen then is that the smarter critters presumably will evolve better 
and will learn to seek attention. They will want to be browsed by as many people as possible. And therefore, will form themselves into the most interesting forms. In fact, the most interesting forms will be selected for because the people coming and browsing them will cause them to actually um, send out more cycles and gain selective advantage by being smarter. Okay. Okay, now you're saying on, everybody's on your, a pilot? On, on your, everybody's a pilot, but only on their own machine. In your machine, you are a pilot, and everybody else is a drone. What just happened? And then, and then it's come on, come on. Here we go. And then it's like. Except the your normal browser wouldn't go out of focus. All those yeah. little yeah. bits would be yeah. in yeah. focus. Oh, here, let's, let's, let's zoom in a little. There you go. Try that. Yeah, well, that's really cool. Let's see. And um, so you, so you can just pick one of, of those squares, and that's your world. <laughs> so it's like as a as a portable teleporter, for instance. Yeah, for a instance. portable teleporter. Maybe you could put it in the squares that you're your favorite world, <coughs> like, like bookmarks. And like, his worlds will be like bookmarks. Sure. Okay. Okay. Each of those the ones will be at the start as a little tile, a little bridge tile. So be, each of those will be an image. Of course. Zoom in. Zoom into the image and you get really close, like with the proximity sensor. You can trigger the proximity sensor and you pop into that world. Yeah, we are never Yeah. There we go. Keep something. Replace the lamp. It says replace the lamp? Have you used it that much? No, no. It's an erroneous message. So the idea is that even if I mean it may this may be yeah. having that happen, right? It just makes it into Yeah, just just think. Okay, wait, 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 we gotta do the whole yeah, so what do we have here? Okay, so it's Bruce Damer. Early days of his avatar hood. Yes. It be, even before it's converted to a flash pixel image, this is in Photoshop here. goes deep. Yeah. It's deep. I would like to get these eyeballs to be like fully resolvable with this resolution. <laughs> this man is mad. Where's the resolution of this? Why stop there? Right. Why stop there? <laughs> Why stop there? <laughs> Why stop? <laughs> well, something was, someone was talking about zooming into bacteria. Zooming into the bacteria. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what kind of bacteria he's got in his eye here. Yeah, well, uh, um, I think we want to edit this out. You can see it, but all the different lighting we had on here, huh? Well, that's the light zone. That might be bacteria there. Well, this light here, like these these hotel, two lights hotel. here are the two are the two lights that we're getting. The flash reflection. Uh, right? Yeah, and this is from the camera flash. So it's camera obvious that these these contributed. Uh, these were very critical for the for the shadow Black detail. Two here. How come it has two? Uh, you see the you see we we did we did good. Look, look look at the oh, lighting yeah. on this face. I mean this is like you did good. It, yeah. This is not a lot of shadows. Perfectly reasonable. The ears are. That's off. what you were looking for. You were looking for the light yeah. and shadows and stuff. That was your focus. This is our first <coughs> feedback right. test. That's here. right. I was trying to make those make those all even. And that bit. that worked really well. And, that, and we just happened to catch one with a decent depth of field. Huh? So at any rate, uh, let's see. We're gonna close that one. Oh, yes. Which one is this uh, one? Cancel. Cancel or that. save. Now we're gonna save this on the disc. This is number sixty-four. Yeah, we're gonna save it on, on this hard disk. Friend, that might be using uh, the RGB from Bruce's head, but we're gonna be using the geometry from a cyberware scan, which is a completely different head. So it might be his hair, but not his head. That's right. Well, we need to get capture Bruce's geometry. We still don't have Bruce's geometry. All we have are these. Yes. And as it turns out, we don't have an appropriate reference point to take 3DT um, avatar from the, you know, we had to have this little white square of paper to see, to make, to make the images look 3D. 
Yeah. But without all the white squares of paper, the image is straight 2D. The next rev, in terms of that, composite these images here. We're going to make a cut somewhere along around here. Why the compositing? Why the compositing? You composite the images because you want to have a full-on shot in this direction, and you also have to have a full-on shot straight onto the face. You know, they should get onto that and onto that so that when you texture map, you minimize the amount of distortion that you're incurring. Well, so you want the sharpest pictures initially, huh? Eh? Yes. Get really, and this is a good ear shot. Yeah. Here we go. I'll zoom in on that just to... Uh, that is an excellent ear shot. <laughs> <laughs> there it's it is. It's clear. Bruce's little pink ears. Uh -huh. yes. There they are, down to the little hairs oh in his ear. God. Yeah, well, people are going to be examining Bruce and seeing features of his face he didn't even know I'm he glad. had. I'm kind of glad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't you wish you were the first one out? <laughs> first one out of the gate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's 66. <sighs> that's this, uh, this is this is quite the amazing image here. That's a good shot. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Good, co good color too. I'm impressed. This isn't even with a um, super high res screen. <laughs>